Hi everyone. In the second part, today we are going to cover how to create order flow analysis on the mobile using GoCharting. So first up, we are going to choose a symbol that we think we want to uh, create an order flow analysis on. So for example, let me choose a Nifty futures chart. So this is Nifty. I click on the futures section. So when you choose a given symbol, the first search result is always the spot or the cash segment the second is futures and the third is the options so i'm going to go for the futures one and i'm going to use the continuous future of nifty here so this is the nifty chart on a 15 minute time frame let me convert it to say for example say 30 minutes which is a more popular uh, time frame for order flow analysis so this is my candlestick normal candlestick chart on order flow uh, sorry on, on on the mobile version of go charting okay so the first thing we're going to do is change the chart type so i'm going to go down in the bottom panel and click on the second button which is the chart type the moment i click there as you can see i have a scrollable uh, view of all the chart types that are available on the web now on the mobile so I'm going to scroll here, here and on, on this, this is the cluster chart or the footprint chart and I'm going to click on it. Okay. The moment I click on it, as you can see, there are certain things that are appearing here. So I'm going to talk about uh, this in a while. Okay. Now I go back. Okay. And let me start from what I call as the default view. Okay. So let me go to the default view. I agree this is this panel is very annoying let me get rid of it okay all right so this is uh, the default view okay uh, <clears throat> and uh, so the first thing people ask is hey I'm not able to see the numbers or the other the trades that are uh, placed uh, at different levels the various market orders the first thing you have to do is use your mouse and, and scroll it okay or zoom it like i'm zooming it now okay and you should be able to see uh, all, all the details once you zoom in okay so again repeating this is where we were okay this is how it looks like like a normal candlestick but when i zoom in okay like i'm doing you get to see the numbers within okay so this is your footprint chart where on the left hand side you have the sell sellers and on the right hand side you have the buyers these are all market orders okay so that's part one okay now the second thing we have to do is uh, um, set the scale uh, and the tick multiplier so in order to set the tick multiplier i'm going to go and hit this button on the top right which will open up the left hand panel okay and under settings i go to order flow and under order flow i'm going to remove the auto mode okay and and i'm going to manually punch in the tick multiplier so for example nifty tick multiplier i'm going to use something like 200 or pay maybe 150 okay maybe even 100 okay so suppose i've put a tick multiplier of 100 it means the tick size of the symbol is 5.05 right and when i multiply it with 100 means every box here in this is now worth five rupees or five dollars or whatever is the code currency okay so five in the difference of five is what the box size is for each of the order flow panels uh, order flow charts right and the same tick multiplier will apply on all the order flow tools that we have available in our in our mobile version right second is some people would like to see numbers or these trades quantity of trades in terms of lot size so i'm going to click on format volume and i'm going to put the lot size in here so i think the lot size of nifty is 50. so now what is happening is everything in, that you see on the left and right are basically giving the number of lots that were traded on the sell side which is in red and buy side which is in green okay so that's how you kind of configured your basic footprint chart okay now most people want to add something like called as a bar statistics so here on the top in the indicator i'm going to go and choose bar statistics and this is the panel that will show up okay you do have the ability to click on the border of each of the panel and and adjust the height of it the way you want okay now that i have adjusted the height uh, i have these configurations delta max delta minimum delta and cumulative delta on the on the on the bar statistics but if you just add it by default right there uh, let me go and show you what is the default view so on the default 
if I go to reset default uh, under bar statistics here under bar statistics I have gone under layers bar statistics default view okay let me repeat this step I went to the side panel layers tab and this is how it would have showed up and this is your indicator that you added bar statistics panel and I scroll down and I put reset default so that gives you the default view and these are the default metrics that you will see but most people uh, like to see Delta and 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 they can they have the ability to change it per their requirements so I click on layers and again on the settings so I click on bar statistics and here I get to choose whatever metric I want so I'm going to just keep volume and I'm going to get rid of all the other default ones and I'm going to add Delta and say cumulative Delta I'm making it up okay so these are the three metrics that I'm concerned and I have just set it up so now as you can see I can uh, um, and again most people see by default a view something like this and ask us hey i'm not able to see the the, the bar statistics i'm not going to be able to see the tick data on mobile how do i do it all you have to do is zoom in the moment you zoom in these numbers will automatically show up to you okay and then you can use like i have explained in the earlier video you can use your your mouse on the on the chart and pan it left to right and and it will automatically you know show you all the historical data that you want okay so that's how you do it if you want to uh, you know um, adjust the scale you can click on the price axis and vertically move it okay that will zoom the 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 uh, the, the chart vertically and then if you do the same use your fingers on the prior on the time axis and move it like i'm moving it here like expand and contract it it will zoom horizontally so that's how you kind of adjust it but again i like to keep it in the auto mode so i'm going to click on this settings button and i'm click on this auto mode so now the computer will automatically you know depending on the on the highs and the lows of the candles available in the viewport adjust the scale uh, automatically so that in a very very nutshell you know uh, kind of gives you how to quickly set up your order flow charts on your mobile phone the same thing will apply uh, if you were to choose something like say volume profile tick or a, or a market profile all of that kind of uh, boils down to things so let me try and use market profile chart so i'm gonna now i have a market profile added okay so what i'm gonna do is right now i'm gonna get rid of the bar statistics okay because it's too much of clutter but i do have on the main panel the cluster chart and the market profile i'm gonna go down here and i'm gonna choose it like a candlestick and i'm gonna hide it okay so i click on this i button and it hides the candlestick now i'm going to only look at like you can see only i'm going to look at the uh, market profile so this is how market profile will look like on your on your mobile phone okay you have the ability to zoom in and you see the letters and and the structure is quite uh, easily visible uh, very nicely on your mobile phone so that's your market profile so similarly you can choose volume profile or any other order flow analysis that you want and and um, adjust the scales and adjust the settings accordingly i hope this kind of clarifies most of your queries around how to use order flow charting on your mobile using go charting thank you so much